Hi, in this video today, I would like to show you how to install Windows 11 on the VMware Workstation 16 Pro version. Okay, let's get started. On my left hand side, I have the VMware Workstation. And in the right hand side, I have the ISO file of Windows 11. 16 version. You can Google and download the file to the Windows PC. I'm using Windows 10 and install the Workstation 16 version. So now I will create a new free tour machine by using the Quizus option. I select the option in type call. You can also install with the custom option. On this step, I will select the second option and then I will open the ISO file of the window 11. Copy it, paste it here, select ISO file. It says that we could not detect the operating system. Yeah, okay, click on next button. On this step, I will select the Microsoft window. And you see here, currently the newer version 16 for the VMware does not support for Windows 11, you know, because for now the latest version of Windows 11 is the first beta, and you can select the Windows 10 64 in this year. And then you can select the folder to save the resources of Windows 11 on the Windows PC. Yeah, I name it Windows 11 64 VM. Okay. And then you should change the v a machine name to Windows 11. Like, on this step, you have to specify that this capacity, I will give it by default is 60 gigabyte and select the second option, split v a disk into multiple files. Yeah. So it will be easier for me if you want to copy the file from this PC to other PC. I don't want to store it in a single file because the file will be very big and it will be difficult for you to move it and save it in other PC. Next. And you can see here, this is the default option of the virtual machine set up for the Windows 11. You can customize it. The first one, you can increase the memory by default it to gig. You can increase it to the 8 gigabyte. For the processor, you can increase the number of processor. Also the core, yeah, you can update anything here. Okay, I will give it by default. Click on close button. And you see here, we have some the update for the memory here. Yeah. Okay, and the other devices, we need here. Yeah. So you make this one bigger. You can see we have the window 11 in the menu of the left hand side and some of the information of the devices. You go ahead to click on power on this virtual machine. Yeah. The virtual machine is running. Yeah. So here you select some of the configuration for the window. Install now. The installation, it will be similar when you install the window 10. If you don't have the license key for now, you can click on, I don't have a product key at this time. And then you can edit the window later on. You scroll it down to select the right version for the window 11. I will select the window 11 pro version. Next button. I will make this one a bigger. Yeah. And I will select the second option, the custom installation. That means I will go ahead to install the new instance of the Windows 11 on my virtual machine. Yeah. Okay, it copy the file and then install the necessary file for the window on my virtual machine. Yeah. It restarts because for now we already installed the necessary file for the Windows 11. Okay. And the PC will be restart. This one it look different with the window 10. You can select the reason keyboard. 
you can add layout or skip this one here. On this step, I will set up for personal you here. On this step, if you already have the Microsoft account, you can enter the account information here. And in this case, I will create a new account here. I will get a new email address option. Select the outlook.com. Yeah, I enter a new account for myself. Next, and provide the password. So you have to remember this password in order to get access into the window later on. Next, you have to answer some of the information for the name, the date of birth, and for country. Yeah, you can create a pin to access the window PC quickly. Enter some number. You can also include the letter and symbol. Okay, button. Next, next, accept. You can select some of the option here to do some personalization for the information. I will skip this one and save space on the PC with OneDrive. You can save the file directly to the OneDrive or even store it on the PC. I will select the first option and then click on next button. No times. I don't want to use the Microsoft 365 at this time. Yeah. It will take some minutes to install the profile for my account. Yeah. And you see here, for now, you already install the Windows 11 successfully on the Windows PC. Yeah. And the current version I'm running in the virtual machine by using the VMware Workstation 16 version. And you see here, the current time, the resolution of the Windows 11 in the VMware, it is so small. Let me try to make it bigger. Yeah, I want to display it in the full screen mode. Okay, let me back to the Windows 10. And I see here the resolution of the PC. Yeah, okay. And I went back to the virtual machine, right click on the desktop, select display settings. I will change the display resolution based on the original PC. Yeah, you know, after I change the resolution of the virtual machine with the same resolution of my PC, so the window in VMware here is displaying with the full resolution on my PC. Yeah, okay. You can click on this PC and go to property and you see the current version of Windows is the dev version. Yeah, okay. And you go to the closest one and go to the update. You check the update version. Yeah, we have something need to be download. Go to the window inside program and click on Get Started, and you will enjoy the window inside the program. Submit, and you do some the registration. By doing registration for this one, you have to pick an account to do some the associate. Yeah. And after that, when you do the registration, you can see we have some option for dev channel, beta channel, release, preview channel. Yeah. That means, it will have some the version of the window for the dev, for the beta, and also some the release channel. When we have a new version of the window 11, for example, the beta or dev or the new release feature, so you get the notification and update it. But keep in mind that the window inside the preview, the version of the window still have some the bug, you know? It will have some the testing purpose, you know? So you have to carefully when you do some of the update from the beta, from dev, and also release version. Okay. Okay, cool. And come to the check for update again. And here we have something need to be downloaded. Window Insider Program. Yeah. The current option is beta. And you can also change it to other version. 
of the dev and also release review channel. Okay, so I think that's all for today. After you finish this video, you know how to install the Windows 11 in the VMware Workstation 16 Pro version. I hope this video will helpful for you. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.